Hello, welcome to Shumplay Sim Airport. I'm going to create a new game. I'm going to go with initial funds one million dollars. I'm going to have a medium, but that's um, locked anyway because I'm not doing the sandbox. I'm going to start from scratch, so I can have a full um, flexibility with the airport. And I think I will keep government grants turned on. Let's go. So I've played this game uh, in the past and um but recently there's been more updates to it so i've downloaded it again and some of the new updates seem pretty cool so let's let's get started okay so first of all uh as it's a complete brand new map i'm gonna have there's nothing at all for me to uh to play with so i think oh got to, got two workmen they are Walking and waiting in the delivery area. We've got Randy Cox and oh, okay. We've got two Randy Cox. What are the what are the odds? eh? what are the odds? Okay, first of all, I need to build a fence because I think I need to make sure that the airport is secured. So I'm going to build it to about there, and then I'm going to build it down here. I'm going to keep the storage on the outside for now. And I'm going to start with some foundations because we need to have some foundations in the airport. Okay, now I probably should have planned it out a little bit, but you know, let's just dive straight in and then just get some stuff um, created. We don't know um, how that's going to work, but let's just get let's just go straight in. Okay. I also need to think about a runway as well. Now, now the asphalt runway is a lot cheaper. It's ten thousand. That's fourteen thousand. Is one better than the other? Does one last longer? Click and drag to create. Mm, well, I'm going to go with this one because it's cheaper. But I don't know if it's. Uh, I don't know which one is better or which one's. Not, but yeah, the cheaper one will be fine. Okay, I'm going to build it up, up the top here. Now, hopefully I'm going to try and keep it as long as possible. Maybe about this length? Hmm. Ah, oh, see, if I could have it a bit longer, I'd get all those extra flights. What about if I put it all the way down here? How much is that going to cost? That's a lot of money. Maybe... Okay, I know what I'm going to do. It's just because I feel like I want to future-proof this runway so I can uh, so I can get all of these extra flights later on. But actually, let's go with... Let's go 150. I think that's a good compromise for now. Oh, that's a big chunk of money. Okay, so I'm nearly halfway down, and I haven't really got any anything to show for it. So I, I suppose I better start to actually build my airport a little bit more carefully. Okay, so got my two workmen here, Randy and Randy. They're building the fence. I think we probably need a few more people, don't we? Because two... Let's hire five. Because two is not going to be enough to, to build all this. So let's build... Let's, let's get two more to help build. Okay, so these are the zones that I need in my airport. I need a ticketing zone, a security zone, and a baggage claim zone. So all the people can get their bags once they arrive to the airport. So... In fact, let's, let's make this a higher priority. Than the fence because then I can start actually planning inside of my um, terminal. Um, so hopefully, we've got, we've got Randy and we've got Biz. Oh, uh, we've got two Bizka and one Jake. So again, I don't know what the chances are having two people with the exact same name, but we've got two sets of people with the same same name. What are the odds? Okay, let's get a large door. So if I type in large, 
sliding door and put the entrance let's have the entrance in the middle in fact let's have two entrances let's have one where they can enter the airport and one where they can exit so I think what I want them to do I want them to be dropped off here let's make the drop off just slightly larger and then move pickups I want the pickups to be on this side here there we go so bus will drop drop people off here they can go into the airport we can have some ticketing we can have some security over here and when they arrive uh, via a plane and they exit they can exit through this door and wait to be picked up over here excellent I think that it will be that will be good okay let's speed it up a little bit so our workers can work a little bit faster and whilst we're doing that, let's plan out how my taxiways are going to going to work. So um, I, there is a planning tool somewhere, isn't there? Yeah, here it is, planning. Taxiway, okay. Let's plan a taxiway to come down here and a taxiway to go down there. So that way, when a plane lands, it can, it can join or leave the runway from these two ends. And then... I will want to put some gates, don't I? Now, why is there two taxiway, one red, one grey? That's a bit strange. But never mind. We'll we'll keep this one. Um, yeah, we'll keep we'll keep that there for now. Um, no, I don't want that. Let's clear that. Okay, so I need a gate. Shall I start with a small or shall I go straight into the large? What's the price difference? 40. Oh no, no, that's going to, uh, that requires a door on, t on floor two. That's not going to work, is it? Okay, let's go, let's go for a small gate. And let's put that over here. Yeah, because I think what I want to do is I want to put a gate here and here and here. So it's gonna it's kind of going to go down. So if I go back to planning, I kind of want my taxiways to go down here. Right, objects, small gate. Okay, let's, let's rotate this round. And let's build one. If I, ah, but no, if I build it there, I don't think I can build the taxiway right next to it. So I think there has to be a gap between the taxiway. Uh, let's just go up. Oh, but I can move, I can build a taxiway. Okay, yeah, whatever. I'm going to put it there. And let's put that as a higher priority as well. My fence can be, do, can be last. Let's speed it up a bit more. On max speed. Come on, everyone. Let's all pull our things out and get this carpet not carpet, concrete um, down. Then we can do the carpeting later. Right, while you're doing that, let's start to plan some of the areas. So I think if they come in here, we can have some ticketing desks up here. Let's have five ticketing desks. And then I will want to have some kind of utilities um, like conveyor belts and things, but that'll be later on. I, I can't afford that right now. The conveyor belt system is quite expensive. So we'll 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 leave some space behind there so we can put conveyor belts later on. Let's also put some um, some ticketing kiosks around here so people can do the self service, as it'll be a lot cheaper and quicker for them. Well, I suppose cheaper for us as we don't need to hire people but also quicker because you know you don't have to worry about talking to a person you can just go straight to the machine and just say hello I'm going well you don't talk to the machine but select where you're going to go and just get your ticket printed and go straight to security saves a lot of time when I go to airports I always try and use a self self uh, service kiosks just it's just a lot easier you know what I mean Okay, so my builders are almost finished. Most of it is done. Let's put our 
baggage claim down here. This can be the baggage claim area. Now, ideally, I want this before you exit through the secure area, I think, or or have some kind of one-way system so people can't, you know, they can't just run in and grab someone else's bag and run away. Just just for um, security reasons. Uh, actually, if I if I build a wall like down here, oh, I can't build yet. Let's plan to wall. If we build a wall like down here, we could put like a um, some kind of one-way exit system here. So once people so people can't go back into this area unless they go through security. We'll give that a try. We'll give that a try. Okay, and security. Let's have our security in orange. Let's have our security here. That can be security, so once they've got their tickets, they can head head towards security, get their bags checked, make sure they're not trying to smuggling anything. We don't want them taking on too much liquids. In the UK, uh, I know it's 100 mils. I think it's slightly different because um, different countries may have different measurements. But yeah, 100 mils is your maximum. Don't you dare try and take like a bottle of water. That is definitely not in the regulations. You have to wait until you get through. Um, and yeah, then once you get through, you're gonna have to buy overpriced drinks because airports always have overpriced drinks, and that's how they make their money. You know, refuse you refuse <laughs> refuse the um, liquids through security and then charge you way too much afterwards. That's just how it is. Okay, um, right. Let me let me let me see how I'm getting on. So this is my kind of like. The ticketing, security, and baggage claim. But over here, I want to have like a walkway along. So let's get this. This can be my. Let's have it about. Let's have it in the middle. Let's have it four wide. And this is going to be like the. A walkway down to the gates. And. Actually, what I'm going to do as well is put here some shops so you know when you get through security there's, there's always some shops to try and get you to buy stuff so I'll put a sh I'll, I'll plan out this little area here where you have to go through a shop to um, to try and entice you to buy stuff so we get some more money and then that, then you can continue down this walkway to your gate and we've only got one gate at the moment so let's just put something like that for our gate yeah that, that kind of works Right, let's just slow that down a bit. How's everyone... Okay, they've, they've got the fence built. They've got the... Well, they have worked really, really fast. Really fast. Um, okay, I suppose I need to get the foundations put down then for, for this then. So let's put that down there. Foundations down there. Foundations down here. Foundations down here. And this bit here is just so they can actually w walk from the gate and out. And we'll put some one-way... Um, objects down. I've seen them before. Now this is a new addition since I've played the game a few years ago. Having one way, yeah, one way. Oh, requires researching. Ah, okay. So I'll need to research that, but that won't be a major issue. Okay. Excellent. This is all coming together very well. Let's start putting in the taxiways as well. We might as well put some taxiways down they are going to be required and I better do it before I run out of money because if I run out of money and we don't get any taxiways written um, placed I won't be able to get any any business from the flights yeah see I can't put that there because that's going to be in the way of the uh, of the uh, gates but what I can do is do that instead and I can put my taxiway down there perfect so now the flights can go in it can go down here get to the gate and return to the runway and fly off excellent okay let's let's um, start to actually put some zones in then so let's speed up time so my workers can work a bit faster what's the first zone ah wait a minute I need some restrooms as well um, forgot about that. We probably want some restrooms before security and we definitely need them after as well. So, where can I put them before security? Maybe we can just have like a few. Let's get my planning out. 
maybe what we can do is just have a just have a few cubicles like around here. Um, something like this. Can I clear? Can I clear that up there? Just you know, just one male, one female. Um, just a just a few cubicles. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's get let's get some of these walls built. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, we need some doors. We'll put one door there, one door there. We don't need it on this side because you know if you're coming from the secured areas, you can use the restrooms on this side. Uh, but this will be more for the people who've just arrived. You know, they've been on the bus. You know, for maybe like three hours from their homes, trying to get to the airport, and you know they they get to the ticketing desks and think, right, we do nip to the loo before we get our tickets. I find I'm going to explode. So yeah, we can just put those doors there, and that will be fine. Okay, so let's have one female restroom, and where where's the male restroom? I might be oh there it is. And one male. Okay, perfect. Now, we also need ticketing, don't we? We want to be able to have a place for people to pick up their tickets. So, that can be ticketing. There we go. And we need security. That can be security. We can demolish. Is it demolish or dismantle? I think it's demolish. We can demolish... Oh, I think it will be dismantled once we have um, some building there. So we'll just wait for that building to be built. Uh, wall, door, excellent. Okay, this is coming together nicely. This is coming together really well. Okay, let's get some ticketing desks. We'll put, let's just put two for now. And we can get some ticketing kiosks. Let's just put... Ah, but what, I want to have some space for the queue. So, in, I know, what I'll do is I'll clear... I'll clear those for now. And I'll get some... Kiosks to put there. Let's just put four in for now. How much, how much are they? Oh, they are quite pricey. Uh, well, too late, I've already, I've already paid for them. So, yeah, next time I need to check about the actual cost of things before I place them, but never mind. Okay, I think ticketing is fine. What we could do actually, we could do with some information stands so everyone knows where they're going. Flight information display. Let's just put one let's just put one on the way in so they can see. Let's put it there. So they we walk through the doors, they can instant instantly see which which um, which flight they're getting on. Go and get their tickets and go through security. That will work really well. Okay, security, right. In security, what do we need? We need a bag scanner to make sure people are not trying to smuggle things through their bags. Let's get two of those. In fact, let me just double check again. Oh, they are very pricey, but I think two will be quite useful. We need a metal detector. Let's just search for that. Metal detector. And I want to make sure it goes in the right direction. That way, let's put one there, one there. And we also need an ID check stand. There we go. Check your documents, make sure you've got your passport. Make sure you're not trying to fly with someone else's documents. You know, we've got a real responsibility here to make sure that nobody's flying with the wrong um, the wrong documents. We want to make sure that you know all of the documents are valid in date as well. You know, we don't want any passports that have been out of date for about ten years, and then people trying to get through on a baby's passport or something like that. So that will stop that. Okay, let's have a look. Let's try and get my. Um, is this still okay? Let's let's raise this to high because I want to be able to start building um, this waiting area for the gate. Oh, day three already. No, I'm sure normally airports take about decades, well not decades, but 
many years to actually build, but you know, on day three we've already got our ticketing and our gates built. So we're doing we're doing quite well. We go we are doing very very well. Okay, so I need an I need a door. Let's get a sliding door so they can I keep pushing this button so they can get out. That will be quite useful. We want some benches as well. Let's have a look at what benches we can get. I quite like the blue ones. They don't look very comfy. You know, pretty pretty standard airport uncomfortable benches. Let's get that. So get a few of those so people can sit and wait. Um, I think also, can we get some windows? We want. We always have like a window facing into the gate, so you can watch your plane arrive. You can watch people get off the plane, and then you can see the pilots and crew, cabin crew, getting off, and then you're still waiting there to get on. But and then about ten hours later, they will call, finally call you to your gate. Um, but you know, you can you can sit and watch whilst you're waiting. We also need some. Um, gate agent desks as well. Now, sometimes I put one, sometimes I put two. Let's put two this time because I think if you have two, it just means you can get them on quicker. And I want to try and be in as efficient as possible. Uh, let's get self some a queue to make sure people are going in a nice orderly fashion. And finally, I need an information display so let's put that next to the gate just so people can see that this is the gate for, that they want you know you don't want to be waiting at the wrong gate and then realizing that your flight's already gone because you've been sat at gate a1 uh, well you're not going to have that problem at this airport because we've only got gate a1 but you know we will be expanding at some point so you want to make sure that there's enough uh, information for those people perfect right let's see if i can actually dismantle this this little uh this wall for this walkway. Excellent, I can. What about this? Uh, perfect. And actually, I, w I want to be able to dismantle this as well. But that's still not being built. Okay. What is everyone doing? Ah, oh, they're all building the... Right, let's put this as low. Like, I know it's important, but right now I want to get the main building built. Let's clear this planning because it's um, annoying me a little bit. We can clear that now, security planning, and we can clear that. Um, what I'm going to do is actually I'll zone that now for baggage pickup. It'll be under B, baggage claim. There we go. Perfect. Let's... Shall I get these toilets done as well? Might as well. Let's get these toilets done. In fact, I need to find somewhere to put some toilets on the secure side, don't I? Maybe this little gap here, that might be perfect. If I just slice... Mm. I want to, maybe I could put one here and one down here. Let's put my let's put some foundations in there. Oh, that costs 10 grand. Um, okay, yep. Whatever. It is... It's required, so you know. Let's put a wall down here and dismantle this. So what we can do is we can have a small toilet over here and a larger toilet over here. Let's get some doors. Let's put one door here, one door here. And we need a secure exit. Let's put the secure exit here. So is that the right way? No. That's the right way. One, two, and three. Okay, I think this is starting to make t um, t starting to take shape, which is really good. So, yeah, um, let's get this. Let's let's get these toilets just finished first. Male restroom. Let's have the smaller one for the male restroom because we don't need as many. Uh, cubicles and the female restroom up there so let's get a toilet we can put um, which way round that way one two three four put two in the male ones over here we can have one in the female and 
one in the mail. I don't know if that's going to fit now. In the sink as well. Can we get a sink in there? Yeah, we can fit a sink in there. Perfect. Um, and then on this side, we can have four sinks here. Get two sinks in there. And also, we want a urinal as well. Urinal. There we go. And we can place that. Where can we place that? Just right in front of the door. You know, as you walk in, you can just go straight forward. Then that'll be fine. Perfect. Right, let me just clear some of this planning because it's looking a bit messy. There we go. I wish the planning would disappear when you when you build it, but yeah. Okay. Last few little things to do. And let's see if we can get a... Uh, oh, it'll be on day five. Yes, yeah. Let's see if we can get one flight in. And then we can end this episode. So, first of all, we need to sign, um, sign that gate to there. What's it? What's going on here? Needs one taxiway. Requires at least one taxiway connected to both ends. We are connected. Oh, is that is that not the end? Is this the end? Oh, that's frustrating. That's really annoying. I'm sure I've you played this game before and I've connected them here. Oh, I don't know what to do. Okay. Let's put one there and there and just to see if that works. It might work, it might not. We'll we'll see, we'll see. Okay, whilst we're doing that, let's have a look at our flights. So WestJet. What have you got to offer us? A Boeing seven three seven? Perfect. Let's put that there. And Aero Time. We can get a E one nine five. Ninety passengers, perfect. Let's get one of those. Let's put Aero Time at six AM. Let's get one more and put it here. Pacific Airlines. What have you got? A three twenty. Um, 150 passengers. Yeah, let's take one of those and put you in the middle. Let's just have three for now. Let's just have three and just check that everything is going to work because I don't want to get loads of airline um, airplanes and we can't actually physically cope. Oh, we also need some staff. That would be quite useful, wouldn't it? Okay, we need four staff for here. We need six security. And that should be it. Right, let's just speed up. Now, hopefully that will fix that. No, it's not. Is that a bug or is that because I need to actually physically attach it to the end? That's really frustrating. Right. We'll just stick that on the end. And hopefully that will fix the issue. Okay. Let me clear this planning here. Um... I'll, I'll leave that planning there for that ticketing area because I want to expand it later. Right. That should now fix that problem. Is it going to fix it? Oh, it's... They're waiting. They're building it. Oh, that's so strange. I'm sure I've never connected them right to the end but maybe I did maybe I just don't remember okay perfect right let's let's see what we've done we've built our very small airport we've got one um, one small gate with our little waiting area for the gate we have security we've got some toilets on both sides of security we've got two ticketing gear desks we've got some self um, ticketing kiosk, self-service, baggage claim, and our workers down at the bottom. Perfect. Right. And we've also, we have also 
scheduled in three flights for tomorrow. Um, okay, I think I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully at the start of the next episode you can see the flights landing. Um, we've got £100,000 left in the bank. Our credit worthiness is poor, but you know we need to make money first to be able to actually to get a better credit rating, don't we? Oh, okay. All right, well... Thank you everybody for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did consider clicking the thumbs up button and if you want to see more videos like this consider clicking subscribe. See you next time.